Okay, so let's look at the first three questions of the week three DSE type questions. So first of all, the index, same way, just multiply the um, power of four to both terms inside the bracket. So you get a to the power of negative 12 and b to the power of eight. And then there's nothing to do at the bottom. And there we go, the big minus small. So eight minus the power of one on the b, so you get that. And then for the a, since five is the bigger number, so subtracting that, you should get a to the power of 17 and b to the power of seven on the top. Okay, that's it. And then for the next one, uh, since it's a fraction, so you multiply two a b on both sides. Okay, so once that's done, you can take away the a plus b, there's only a left, so 2ka plus kb. Since you need to make a the subject, move the a's together, and then factorize the a. Remember, it's the a, so there's only one left, so it's 1 minus 2k. And then finally you divide. Okay, so three marks each so far. And then in the third one, uh, as I said already, like in the previous uh, question, check whether there is something common in first. So there it's here, there we have a y square that's common. And then nine y minus x is what you are left with. Okay, and then uh, for the second part, so you can see is the first term that's repeated, so y square. 9y minus x. Since I need a 9y, there's only a y at the term at the back. And then since the 9y is positive and the negative 90, 81 x square y, this thing is negative. So I have to take a negative sign out. And then because I only need a 9y, so there's an extra 9 there because 9 times 9 is 81. So it's 9x squared that you need to factorize. Okay, since it's a 9x squared that you need to factorize, you can rearrange it, put the negative 81 back to the front. So it becomes positive 9y. And then since it's a positive 9x cube, not only you need the sign to be turned to negative, but you also need an x. Because this x with this will give you 9x cubed positive. Okay. And finally, because now you know that 9y minus x is common, you have y square minus 9x square. This needs to be further broken, broken down. Because this is actually a square minus b square, which gives you a plus b, a minus b when you factorize it. So not only you have this, because nine, nine, 9 is actually 3 square, okay? So 9 is actually 3 square, so it's 3 square x square, so it's 3x, and then one of them is a plus. It doesn't matter which way you write it. It can be plus here and minus, or the other way around. So I can even write it like this. I put a plus first and then a minus at the end. Okay, it doesn't matter. But that's the first three.